Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, I will tell you how we can interpret the results of yeast to hybrid assay. And as we know that actually yeast to hybrid assay is used for the identification of proteins interaction. And we should also know that proteins interaction predicted through cytoscape or other in silico analysis softwares, they are just predicted and cannot be true interaction because most of them are just based on the algorithm so it is must required that first we should verify those interaction through yeast to hybrid assay so how actually it works as here you can see we have two proteins one is a protein and b protein so we use actually binding domain vector and activation domain vector and as here you can see the binding domain vector is actually the bait and activation domain vector is actually the prey so what it simply means if a and b will interact so you can see they will express this gall promoter and they will form blue color or they will form a clone and as here you can see if there will be protein protein interaction inhibition so then this gene will not express and as a result there will be no clone or no colony formation as here in this video we will only be discussing the results presented in the research article but if you want to know that how we can prepare this activation domain vector and how we can prepare this binding domain vector so i will recommend you you can watch uh, these videos for experiments as here you can see yeast to hybrid assay activation domain vector development and similarly binding domain vector and how we will combine them so in this video i have experimentally performed that how we can perform and how we can make this vector but in this video i will show you how we can actually interpret the results which are presented in research articles so actually yeast to hybrid assay is based on working of SD medium here you can see here we have different colonies and uh, here you can see the overall let me show you how you can interpret these results as here you can see the word is SD SD means synthetically defined or synthetic drop out so if you can see uh, as we know that we artificially prepare these mediums and we actually drop out two amino acid one of them is leucine and other is tryptophan so all of the genes uh, which we will express in this medium so they will grow all of type of hair so we also call this medium which is only deficient in true amino acid with this whole medium is called as non-selective medium but as here you can see here actually the four amino acids are drop out one of them is leucine tryptophan histidine or adenine so all of them are absent so this is called as selective medium so this is non-selective medium and this is selective medium so first here we use some positive control and similarly we also use as a negative control so as here you can see uh, first we should use bait I mean the binding domain vector as here you can see that T753 if T753 and T7 T so actually uh, they interact with each other as here you can see in the non selective medium all should grow but as here you can see this in this there are four colonies and at all dilutions level so actually these are the dilution level like 10 rays power 5 10 is power 4 10 is power 3 and 10 is power 2 so similarly these are all further dilutions if we will use t7 and t7 so you can see the colonies are still growing so it mean t7 this protein t7 and this protein t7 they are actually interacting so they are used as positive control so and here as you can see the t7 lam and t7 t so as here you can see this protein is same but now we have changed this protein so you can see here there are no colonies so it means these 
two proteins are actually not interacting. So the key role is if here the colonies in selective medium will grow, so it means those proteins are interacting. So here you can see if we will use WUS and uh, CYC to be these are actually two proteins. So here you can see they are still growing in non-selective medium, but they are also growing here. So it means these two proteins are interacting. But if you can see CM versus CYC to A, here you can see the B is interacting, but 2A is not growing in the selective medium. So it means this part is actually not interacting. So now maybe it would be easy to identify for you that which proteins are interacting and which proteins are not interacting. So here you can see this WUS and CYC2D. This is also interacting, this is interacting and this is interacting. Other all are not expressing. So it means those proteins are not interacting. So let me show you another example from a research article. So that we use actually synthetic complete. So here as you can see this is the binding domain vector. This is activation domain vector and here you can see there are again two amino acids which are synthetically completed and here are actually three so actually there are different biological kits and they use different number of amino acids so uh, the overall basic idea is here you can see this is actually growing in the non-selective medium and they are also growing in the selective medium so it means this dps1 gene and trx1 gene uh, sorry dps1 protein and trx1 protein they are interacting and similarly dps1 protein and trx20 protein they are actually interacting but as here you can see uh, this dps1 and trx15 they are not interacting and similarly this binding domain are also not interacting so now maybe it would be easy for you to identify the results of yeast to hybrid assay so we can move ahead and as here you can see here is another example so here is non-selective medium here is selective medium and here you can see p53 this is one protein and similarly mdm2 this is another protein so as here you can see they are also growing at further dilutions so it means these two proteins are interacting and all these combinations are not interacting so how we can test this uh, so as here you can see if we take the previous example you can see here as here you can see if we were using these two proteins so let me show you through the od value as here you can see in the non-selective mediums all combinations were growing like 1, 2, 3, 4, even after 17 hours, 30, 25 hours and 41 hours, all were growing and all were giving, giving the values. But here as you can see on the selective medium, only when is giving high OD value. So which color is responding is only this, I mean the P53 and MDM2 is only giving OD expression at after 41 hours so it means only those proteins which will give positive od values i mean high pause i mean high od values after few hours or at least 36 hours or 24 hours then those proteins will be interacting so uh, here is another question if if some proteins are giving i mean they the colonies are growing uh, in selective medium so whether it is sure that these proteins are interacting so uh, actually this is the first experimental part of any protein protein interaction but still the white wedge results should be further verified through other techniques so among them uh, the most commonly used are coip and pull down assays and similarly bimolecular fluorescence complementation assay Similarly, Lucy Firay's complementation essay and GST pull down. Although there are a few other new methods as well, but among them, which I have I highlighted in red color, they are mostly used. So once you have uh, checked the protein protein interaction through white wedge, 
so in good research article or the i mean in good journals you have to further verify your results through coip pull down bifc or luciferin assay or gst pull down i will make separate videos on each of them so if i hope now you will be able to know how actually we can interpret the results of yeast to hybrid assay but if you have still any question related to y2h results please let me know in the comment section thank you for watching bye bye